you mentioned not being afraid to take on like a leadership role. TJ brought that up as well. How has that kind of been so far, you know, leading by example and maybe vocally as well? Um, it's been great, honestly. Uh, I've been just trying to uh, lead by example, um, get here early, be the last one to leave, um, just showing um, some of the things that uh, has helped me be successful in my career overall and some of the things that I've learned overall playing basketball over in college for the last four years at a high level and um, those things that help you to win as a team. And um, so I've just been trying to be like that big brother to the young guys and, um, you know, that support system so that they can always have somebody to talk to and just kind of just like Coach TJ said, be loud, um, be vocal, um, high praises, you know, not really yelling at anybody, just talking to them and uh, making them feel like it's okay to make mistakes um, because we're going to fix it and we're going to fix it together. Shane, I was talking to your high school coach yesterday, Coach Williams, and he was telling me a little bit about you, but what can you bring to the Iowa State program and what are you hoping? Uh, I'm looking to bring, you know, uh, a great um, motor defensively, you know, being a, a, a shot blocker. I've, I've been doing that uh, for the last four years, so I'm hoping to, you know, continue that uh, this year at Iowa State and be able to be that last line of defense. I take pride in being uh, the last line of defense on uh, defense, be able to block shots and protect the rim. Uh, what I look to get out of this year is just to um, progress my offensive game, you know, be able to um, work, work my way out, be able to uh, knock down um, perimeter shots and be able to be more comfortable uh, on a perimeter uh, making plays. Uh, ball handling, just being a playmaker at the same time. Why did you start playing basketball so late? Uh, just kind of fell in love with it late. I kind of I only played when I was younger because I was just the tallest kid in, in the neighborhood, so I kind of just played just to play. And then decided to fell, fall in love with it late. Like Coach Williams you talked about, he kind of like brought me to the side. I think after my sophomore, junior year of high school, and was like, you can you know, you can make some money someday, Tonis, if you uh, put extra work in. And from that day forward, I just kind of fell in love with it and been just doing it ever since. Uh, I mean, it is a, is a new territory for me. Uh, being on the perimeter, I've been you know just kind of back to the basket around like you know four to five feet around the rim. Uh, I'm I'm taking it you know by storm. I'm, I'm you know, whatever the coaches want me to do, I'm doing it. I'm getting extra shots up, extra uh, reps after practice, just trying to get comfortable being able to out there and be able to shoot that shot. Like you said, they're confident in me and. They're giving me confidence I'm, and me working on it, seeing it go in during my workouts is giving me more confidence to shoot it too. Did Brockington, um, Jared, did Brockington have any uh, influence on, on, on you coming here? Maybe not face to face, you know, verbally, but, but the fact that he came here and, and obviously you guys are ballers, you know what's going on all around, um, and that he thrived here. Did that have any influence on, on, on you being at Iowa State right now? Uh, it most definitely did. Just based off the fact how they trusted him, um, how they believed in him, and they kind of gave him the keys, um, you know, to help lead this team to a Sweet 16. Um, I admired his work and his growth as a player over last season. Um, he transformed into a lot of things, uh, into a player that a lot of people didn't think he could become, um, being under recruited, um, while just having that high motor. So you saw the work that he put in. You saw the grind that he went through here at Iowa State. Um, to become the player that he is today. Um, so, yeah, I watched Brockington a lot. Um, and that connection with Bonaventure, too. Um, um, just some of the um, some of my big bros from uh, Bonaventure, you know, they played with Brockington. So uh, he was always a, a name mentioned um, about the potential that he had to become a, a great player. And um, he, sh he showed that last year, and he showed his growth. And I'm hoping I have that same success here. Uh, even though I'm here at Iowa State and this is a dream come true, I still feel like I'm an underdog. Uh, I still feel like uh, uh, nobody believes that I should be here. Um, I still believe that people still think it's a fluke that I'm here. Um, and it's the, that's just the truth, and I work like that every single day. Um, I don't expect anybody to give me anything. I have to go out there and take everything I've, I've ever had to achieve. I've taken it um, from not having a scholarship out of prep school only having a couple out of junior college. Um, so I, I, I've taken everything that I've, uh, and I've earned everything that I've gotten today. So I plan on continuing to do that throughout my career here.
I believe I can, um, but ultimately I want to win. Um, and that's all that matters to me at the end of the day. Um, but with those guys in that locker room, um, no matter how many points I score, as long as our, our record is above 500 and we're, not, we're on our way to possibly a Big 12 championship and an NCAA berth and run, that's all that matters to me at the end of the day. Uh, it's, it's really close. I mean, from the get day he came in to uh, Bonaventure, coming from JUCO, kind of connected. Uh, he's always been there with me. He's been there through some rough times in my life when I was going through uh, some things. Uh, so just being with him, I grew, I grew a great relationship over the uh, three years that we were together at Bonaventure. And uh, kind of you played a little bit of a uh, – had a little impact on me coming here too. So I, we're like – that's my brother. He's my brother. Always will be. You just said you guys are roommates or were roommates or maybe both? Uh, we were last year. Uh, my senior year at Bonaventure, and then we are here. So, like I said, we've, we've been around each other. Like I said, even when we weren't roommates at Bonaventure, we were we were always with each other, always around each other all the time. So, on the court, off the court. Yeah. So, always we're close. Together. When TJ, <clears throat> both of you guys, when TJ said that, or you first learned that the Iowa State's uh, the hours they keep here, whatever, the, the early practices, that everybody eats breakfast together, and it's during the summer, actually, and aren't you supposed to sit there? Um, <laughs> what was your reaction to that? Uh, I mean, it was a little different, um, but I mean, it's it's new. I'm 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 embracing it. I'm enjoying it. Being able, to, you know, just have um, eating together as a team, you know, for breakfast and dinner, and just being around the guys, you know, being able to build chemistry and build bonds. I think it's good, especially with the guys that we have. It's a, it's a lot of a new guys coming into the system. So I think the more time that we are together, spending time together on, off the court, you know, building that bond and that chemistry together, it'll go right to the court and be able to play better as a team. This wasn't a deal breaker for you, Jim. Oh no! I, I like getting up early in the morning. Um, my mother was a, has always been a teacher, so she's always had to get up early. So I just have always believed in getting up early, starting my day early, um, no matter what time practice is. So uh, it's not a, it's not a big deal for me at all. I actually like it, um, just because you have you use all of your day. Um, you don't waste any of it. Um, you're, we're probably done by five o'clock, and if we want to get some more work done after that, still be in the bed by ten o'clock. So. Nine o'clock. I, I think it's great. I think it's um, the best use of time management. For both of you guys, what's it been like just you know getting used to being here, getting used to the new guys, and, and truly new guys like freshmen coming in, but also guys who are new to you like Gabe and all those guys. Uh, Gabe has been great. He's our roommate right now. Um, he's helping me become a better leader. Um, he's helping me throughout the process and the transition here at Iowa State. He's open. Um, he's opened up with open arms, um, and we're taking him right in. Uh, we got a group chat called the Three Amigos, so <laughs> uh, we're always talking in that, um, just like a house group chat. So, yeah, I love Gabe. He's he's been great, and um, I hope we continue to get closer as this um, season prolongs. But um, the transition has been great. I love everybody here. I love the people. Um, the city of Ames has been um, so open to me and my family. And, you know, to me and Shun, no matter where, wherever we go. So it's been great. It's been a great experience, uh, everything I could have dreamed of.